welcome back to plans on planning here we are in my business planner and i need to get ready for the first week of march now this month of march um if you're into like astrology horoscopes energy spirituality any of that stuff um i am i've been reading up about March and what March has to, what March has in store, planetary alignments, astrology, and all that wonderful stuff. And for me, granted, if you don't, that's your business. I don't judge. Um, but for me, March has a lot of new beginnings in store. Um, oh, I forgot to show off my washi. So this is my washi that I'm using. And as you can see, this washi does not cover up the whole area. So I'm actually going to attempt to put a smack dab in the middle. Ha <laughs> ha. I know how crazy that sounds, but I'm going to try. So it says, do what makes you happy. And I'm doing just that. All right. But nonetheless, I was telling you about March. March has a lot of new beginnings for me, um, astrological wise. Um, it's all about new. So there's a serious change in energies. There's, I'm going to actually cut this where the Y doesn't show. So taking out my handy dandy scissors. Um, New job, if you've heard me mention that previously, I have a new job. Um, it tells me to be on the lookout for like new romances, a lot of new ideas, all of that stuff. Now, I want to make sure I capitalize on this like nobody's business. Ha ha, look what I did. Came out pretty cool if I do say so myself. Oh gosh. So, I want to make sure that I am super ready for all that March has in store. And to do that, I want to make sure that my planner is super ready for all that March has in store. Oh, darn it. It doesn't necessarily work on this time. All right. So what I'm going to do is put this in the middle. And I'm just going to have... Oh, darn it. I made a wrinkle. All right. There we go. I am wrinkling up this page like nobody's business, and I find it to be absolutely hilarious. But to make sure I am ready for all that March has in store, I want to make sure my planner is ready. And that means getting my washies together, getting my stickers together, and making this bad boy look amazing and to do that i'm doing this so i have these cool you know so it's going to be all about my to-do list and goal setting because i want to capitalize on this newness like nobody's business So, I want to make sure that every idea I have, there's a space to write it down, and then I'm following up on it. You know, things I already had in play, I want to get back on it to make sure I'm getting the most out of those things as well. And I just want to rock out and be awesome, basically. Let's just call it what it is. I want to rock out and be awesome. And to do that, I need to be organized. So, I am all about organization. As you can see, or as you've known over these past uh, year or so, we've been doing this. And what I'm trying to do this time around is really, really focus on one thing at a time. Because I'm pretty sure you guys know that like when you get a cool idea or you get something new, you just, you know, the ideas just start flowing in and you're writing them down and you're trying to do everything at once. And then something always falls to the wayside. No matter how hard we try, something falls to the wayside. And it totally sucks because when that thing falls to the wayside, we're like, oh, that could have been that one thing that, you know, set everything up, set me on a new course, all that wonderful stuff. 
So what I've learned to do is just focus on one thing at a time. So yes, I will be writing down all my ideas, which I encourage everyone to do. But just take the time to really see one thing at a time through. That's what I encourage people to do. So yes, if you have 100 ideas, write all 100 down. But don't try to do 50 of them at once. I would even recommend not even trying to do like 20 of them at once. Um, especially if they're not related. Because sometimes we get all these amazing ideas, but they're kind of just all over the place. Where it's not just like they're all about organization or they're all about cooking or they're all about health, all about fitness. It might be a cluster of all of them. So when they're not interrelated like that, we really separate ourselves from getting things done and being able to focus on one idea at once. So if you have like two or three ideas that are in the same category, same field, same arena, yeah, work on those. But once you see that one of them is drawing your time away from the others, then it may be an opportunity to step back and see what's really going on. So... That's my little spiel, but I found these um, glam planner stickers at Walmart. Um, I saw on Instagram that somebody mentioned that Walmart has stickers, and I was like, what? Walmart has stickers? Shut up. But when I went to go look for myself, I couldn't find them. So I was like, oh, this person freaking lied to me. Like, how could they do that? Like, I'm all about my stickers. How could they lie to me? And I was so hurt and devastated. And then I went to another Walmart, and I found the stickers. So I was like, oops. I take that back. I wasn't lied to. I just went to a Walmart where the stickers were sold out. So it was kind of embarrassing. Yeah, let's see if that's there. Alrighty. And then I want to put over on this side just to make sure I'm getting things done. Because like I said, I want to capitalize on ah, on all the opportunities and everything that March has to offer. And to do that, we need to be organized. So that's what my focus is, organization. Bam. So I have these cute little stickers that I found at Walmart that is going to keep me super organized, super on point, and I just love it. So on my monthly spreads, I will be writing down, you know, all of my goals, things I want to achieve, things I want to accomplish. Um, for the month and during my weeklies, I'll be writing down ways to actually accomplish those things. So if it's like, you know, sending emails, following up with things, text messages, whatever the case may be, all that gets written down in this area. All right, there we go. Haha, uh -huh. it's looking cute, people. It's looking cute. All right. So, I just want to add a little bit more to give it some, like, pizzazz. And to do that, I'm going to be looking through my quotations or my quotes and my memory covers. Just to give it a little something, something that takes it, like, a little over the edge. Hmm. Just, oh, I'm so sorry. And then if I can get a really good quote. So I got these from the um, Memory Keeper. And then I want to get a really nice quote to put in this area. I am all about business, people. No. 
uh, but I, I need something going this way. So I'm just looking through it. Shoot, it's too large. As you can see, it's looking like I may start to need another one. Ooh. Hmm. Something like this would be great. If I could just get another color. That would really work out for me. Well, I guess that will have to do. Yeah. Um. Hmm. All right. So I love the weekend project one. Oh, here we go. And this darker color. There we go. Bam. All right, so here we go. Here is the start of something truly amazing. I cannot wait to get March starting and off on a good foot on a serious note and just really, really make things happen. I thank you guys ever so much for joining me today and participating in my wilds and craziness, for listening to my little spiels. I do appreciate you all ever so much. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop a message below. If you feel more comfortable emailing me, do so. My email is plannedonplanning at gmail.com. Do not forget to follow me on social media. Hit the follow button. Then go up in the corner and hit the send message from that little menu drop down thing. Send me something to let me know that you guys were here, that we spoke, that we talked, all that good stuff. So, in the meantime, in between time, later days.